Hi YouTube. Um, this is about the thousandth time we try to do this, so we're gonna do it this time. So yeah, um, I got three guests with me today. So if you want to introduce yourselves, my name's Chris. Go by the Gamer Tiger Eagle Scope UK. I mostly play Call of Duty games on Xbox Live. Hi, my name is The Razor's Edge, and I play on Xbox Live. So guys, my name's Luke. My gamer tag is Purple Lambo. So yeah, they're all pretty much Xbox fanboys. So. Yep. Yep. So uh, I suppose we start talking about our favourite maps and guns and perks and shit. So yeah, Chris, do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. I might add that I also do have a PS3. Thank you very much. But um, same Z's. Yeah. Um, <laughs> map. In terms Peter. of maps, I like like big maps, like wastelands. Not places where you can camp. Because I play headquarters, so I like to be able to hold down a certain Parkour position. Headquarters. Yeah. Yeah, to be precise. Um, so you can hold down certain positions and then you can pretty much control the game from there with just a sniper rifle. I actually really like uh, Afghan, this map right here. I, I think it has like a lot of the, like, you can have snipers or like, you can use an SMG or an assault yeah, rifle. Yeah. There's, there's, there's perfect ranges everywhere. Mm, in this I'm actually using a UMP with Marathon, Cobbled and Steady Aim. Don't Which know. recoils like a bitch. Not really. Yeah. You can pop for but, it. Yeah, my favorite, my favorite gun in the game. It has to be the UMP. It's the only gun I use, and when I usually just play search and destroy, it's usually marathon lightweight ninja and a shotgun. Yeah, definitely. I, I think my favorite perk combination is definitely marathon lightweight and either a ninja or a commando. A lot of people don't like commando though for some reason. Maybe it's because you can launch people from the other side of the map. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the whole idea of Commando Pro is to be able to jump off, you know, high. Yeah, but it's really that's, good. That's for that's what I use it for. Yeah. yeah. Elevators. The main the Commando is like the model you can use oh, before triple. the patch. Hey. Let's do that. I'm pretty sure my video is not up with your guys, so I'm just gonna <laughs> go along with it. <laughs> Right, yeah, same right. here. Yeah. So, um, what really pisses you off in this game, not the most? Um, bullets are not registering. Yeah, that definitely. Is. Like, I could uh, be, I could be host, and I will put a clip into a guy. It won't even hit mark. It would just go straight through him. Yeah. For me, it would be the corner lag. You could be like around the corner and you just oh, I hit that. Yeah. Like, yeah fucking that. Fucking idiot. It, I don't know whether it's just me or not, but it happens mostly on Skid Row. I don't know, I don't know whether I just find that. But. Yeah, exactly. On Skid Row, it works. Like, always. Usually when I go up that staircase right in the middle in the building. Yeah, it does. It's usually the people yeah. pre fired from the. by the yeah, forklift. The forklift yeah. And of course, I think the single most thing that angers me is that they. you know, they have to rely on a host to provide the download and upload. So it really depends on how good your internet is and all. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of sucks yeah, for me. Let's not get into I that because uh, it's usually it friggin' takes the worst host and then it migrates yeah. to another host. Uh, wow. Well, yeah. Hardly another. It, when it does migrate. Half the time it doesn't migrate if you got shit host. It takes a few hosts to get the perfect one. You yeah. get everyone. Everyone's got like three or four green bars. It take it takes a while to get the perfect host, but then the yeah. perfect host leaves the next game and you go through it again. Yeah. Definitely. It's an annoying process, but then games like Battlefield, which have I'm pretty sure don't have hosts, it's just random servers. Yeah. You can is. see you can see how laggy they are, so it is kind of an advantage when you do get a good host. Mm. Uh -oh. Do you guys think that Battlefield Bad Company 2 is the Modern Warfare 2 killer? No. no I think it's shit. No, definitely not. At first it's was... good. It's good and stuff, but it's too realistic compared to Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. If you just want to go on and like oh, have fun, I, I, I tried <laughs> to jump on the cliff. I found the plane wing and I, I died. Yeah, it's a totally different genre in my opinion. Like, there's like Call of Duty is like run around FPS, but Battlefield is more you know tactical. I, I like Battlefield 1943. I played that. Before. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I I think I Battlefield Battlefield feels a lot more solid. Like the controls, like when you're walking around and you know moving the screen around, it feels a lot more solid than Modern Warfare 2. And I really like the feel of Modern Warfare 2 a lot better. 
you yeah. know what, I wish in Battlefield you could make the sensitivity higher because on Modern Warfare 2 and all card games I play on a 10 sensitivity and it gets a bit annoying. Yeah, I must admit, like Battlefield games, when you're like you're trying to turn it, it does like drag a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm looking forward to the uh, new Medal of Honor. I am. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good, yeah. but I think if it's, anything, it's, it's going to be a Modern Warfare 2 clue. It's going to be that. But the, the only problem is it's running on the exact same engine as Battlefield, so yeah. we'll see yeah. how that goes down. I can be guilty of what I talk about next. Um, what is your guys' opinions on the hacks, glitches, and stuff that they patch and it just gets found right again? Um, the glitches don't really bother me. But, um, on PS3, there aren't really many hacks, I don't think, but um, the hacks really piss me off, but the glitches don't. Personally, there wouldn't be as many hacks or whatever, like glitches, if Modern Warfare 2 didn't have as much attention as it does. I mean, look, yeah. look how many, how many that, copies that, that it's kept it simple. I no, I mean, like, because Call of Duty is such a big franchise now, like, everyone's playing it, so yeah. there's more attention and then more demand for trying to cause people yeah. help by glitching and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, the first, like, month it came out, it had, like, more people playing it than Halo 3 had its first month or something. Yeah. yeah. It, it was something, uh, like, number one in those charts or something. Yeah, and about the hacks is... I did the 10th prestige hack, I'm not guilty about that one, but I just did it. I don't want to spend the whole life, my whole life on this game. Like when I, I got, I'm 10th prestige on Call of Duty 4, but I guess I look at my days now and I have 35 days total and it's like I should have spent a lot more time doing something else than trying to get the 10th prestige. <laughs> yeah. so I've actually, uh, on the World at War, which is the card I played the most. I actually, I've actually pretty much equal my time played on Modern Warfare 2 already in the first like three months of it being out. Yeah. If you know what I, mean. I always say like religiously, like Modern Warfare 2. Even sometimes when you come on, you absolutely despise like what's going on, like spawn, like oh, spawn in a dive. But I say to people, it's just a chore. It feels like a chore, like not a bad chore. It just feels like you have to. It's part of your routine that you have to yeah. get some yeah. Modern Warfare 2 into your day. I, I, I would play World at War still if um, all my mates weren't on uh, Modern Warfare 2. Yeah. I, I like to play with the party mode. Yeah, I, I do. Because you, you do notice a difference when you play alone and when you play with like a full, a full party with everyone with mics. <laughs> stuff like that. Continuing on the topic of like World at War, has anyone heard about the new name yet? Is it confirmed? Is it uh, is it Vietnam or is it World at War Two? I think it'd be really interesting if it was Vietnam. I'd be really uh, interested to know what they can do with that. I think you know since Vietnam was kind of a like centered around like jungle warfare or like you know whatever terrain Vietnam is. I think it'd be kind of hard to put a lot of variety in the maps and in the levels and stuff. You know what I mean? Because it's just one location. It's just yeah. Like, um, yeah. I think we'll be good if they um, decent with the zombies though, because I love zombies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, what I was, what I was, what I was also told, it, there's going to be like just a separate... They're going to be making a separate game just for zombies and a separate game just for World of War. I wouldn't pay a separate game just for the zombies. I would, um, definitely. Me, me and Danny, like, a few a few months back, we used to play zombies religiously, like, literally every day for hours. I used to really like zombies. What was your favorite zombie now? Um, Monster the one... Zombies. You know the one where you got the little... Where you got all the power-ups in different buildings, and you have to Shino try... Yeah, Shinonuma. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that, 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 was my, that was my worst one, I think. <laughs> I, I did. Yeah. I did like that. And I think. I think the worst one was the the Verukt one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one was hard. I, I like that one. I mean, I like playing it. It just. I. There was. I just think it was really hard. I mean, I didn't. I didn't last that long when I tried to play it. What's the? What was the new map called again? What the Reese? The Reese. Yeah. Um. It's compared to. The other maps, like I played on PS3 with my cousin, and we did a, uh, I think we did 38 rounds, and it was all the power ups. If we didn't have the power ups, we'd be like gone. Yeah. So that was yeah. a big plus right there. Uh, I think we're gonna have to start wrapping up because there's uh, 30 seconds left. So. Yep.
Bye, everybody. Subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, subscribers. Hello. Uh, so, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Um, I'll probably do more of these in the future if it goes down well. So, uh, yeah. Go bye. subscribe to my channel. Woo! <laughs>